The study of how aerodynamic forces, structural flexibility, and motion interact is called aeroelasticity. It's crucial in aircraft design because these interactions can cause a structure to deform, create control issues, or even lead to failure. And it can be summarized using a triangle. I'm an aerospace engineer, and Collar's aeroelastic triangle shows how three key elements work together. Elastic forces from the structure's stiffness, aerodynamic forces from air flowing around the aircraft, and inertial forces from the aircraft's mass and acceleration. When elastic air and inertial forces interact, you get vibration, the back and forth motion characteristic of flexible structures. When elastic and aerodynamic forces interact, that's static aeroelasticity, how steady aerodynamic loads deform the structure. When aerodynamic and inertial forces interact, that's flight mechanics, the aircraft's response to aerodynamic forces during maneuvers or gusts, assuming the structure doesn't flex. But when all three forces act together, you get dynamic aeroelasticity, unsteady interactions between flexibility, air and inertia. This includes flutter, a dangerous self-exciting vibration that can destroy an aircraft if not properly designed against.